On today's video, I'm going to show you how to cook a cheap steak. Welcome to the show. I'm Chuck Tendersteak, and alongside me is my good friend, Bijan A. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm Chuck Tendersteak, and alongside of me is my good friend, Asian Beef Tip. And we're going to show you how we cook steak when we're dead ass broke. All right, all kidding aside, um, these are the steaks that I absolutely learned to cook way back in the day before I knew what I was doing and really before I had. Well, any money, I'm just calling spade a spade. That's just where I was in life. These are the steaks we cooked. And these are how we cooked them. Don't get mad. This ain't a ribeye. This ain't a tenderloin. This ain't none of that. So we're not gonna cook them the same way. They're probably not gonna end up the same way. But nevertheless, it is still going to end up a good piece of meat in your mouth. No one? I, I... No one? Okay. I, I don't know if we I, got any more meat in my mouth. Yeah. So this is how I used to do it. I'm not saying it was the right way. I'm just saying this is how I did it. And if you got cheap steaks like these and you want to do them like I did them, this is it. Fork. Put a bunch of holes in it. Quit screwing around. I'm going to get my finger here in a second. Me and Jamie, we would cook these 20 years ago. This is just how we made them. And uh, I got the tip from somebody. I can't remember this. Man. You're supposed to marinate soy sauce. And I was like, all right, sounds good to me. So that's what we did. We put them in a little gallon, or look, is this a gallon? This ain't a nice gallon, quart. Anywho, put them in a Ziploc bag. I can't believe I'm doing this now. They're still good steaks though. I'm dead serious, man. I ain't not gonna lie to you. They're still good steaks, but we're gonna fill it full of soy sauce. Hey, and don't tear me up in the comments. It's just how I did it when I was broke. Dump it in there. Get all the air out. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a good steak. Man, you couple this with a nice fat loaded mashed tater and a big old cup of Jack and Coke. I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't drinking Jack and Coke back then either. I was drinking Jim Beam and Coke. Now I'm not even gonna lie to you about that. It was Evan, Evan Williams. Sorry, just who I was at the time. If you, you know if you run it through a Brita water filter, even better. It's like Gentleman Evans. All right, so we're gonna just let the, oh shit, we got a hole. We got another one, just for this reason. Let them set for 30 minutes, don't touch them. And don't, uh, is it gonna be salty? Yes, it's gonna be salty. It's a piece of ass, cheap ass meat. It's gonna be salty. I can't even talk. All right, so we're gonna let these set. All right, so we're gonna let these just set on the counter, about 30 minutes. Don't worry about the room temperature or anything. In 30 minutes, we'll come back, pat down, season them up, get them cooking. All right, so we're gonna be cooking these on the Weber indirect today. It's just how I did it then. I'm just showing you how I did it. I ain't saying this is the best way, it's just my way. Get the grate on top. Now I got the bottom open wide open and the top is open wide open. All right, so let's go get these steaks out of the marinade. Get some seasoning on them, get to cooking. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. Time to pull them out, pat them dry, get them rubbed down. Boy, this brings me back, brings me back a long time. They're gonna be good, I'm telling you. I just pat them dry. Now for these, we're gonna use two different rubs. We're gonna use our prime steak and our classic steak, but you use whatever you got at the house. I'm gonna rub both sides down Go check my fire, and then we'll get them on there. These smell good. They smell real good. There's something about that soy sauce, man. It just works with steak. It just works. Press all that in. Make sure you pick up the extra with the edges. And that's it. Let's get to cooking. All right, so we're gonna cook these indirect. I'm a fan of cooking them this way. It just seems to uh, give the best result. For me, I found when you do direct and then you go indirect, you kind of lose the crust on that steak. I like going indirect then direct to keep that crust. I just like it a little bit crunchy, if I'm just being honest. I am gonna put my thermal pin probe in there if I can get it untangled. And I, I'm gonna have it set. These are probably thin enough. I'm gonna do 95 degrees 
And as soon as that goes off, we're gonna open it up, let the coals get nice and hot, and then sear them off. They'll be done. All right, so I jumped my tip up to 100, because, oh, get out of there. Oh, little dude. And it didn't take very long. All right, so the deal here is I get these coals ripping. I mean, as hot as I can, I sear them, and they're done. Pretty simple. All right, here we go. These don't have much fat on them. They'll cook, and they throw amazing color, too. Ooh, let's butter them. Just like that, they're done. Woo! All right. Now, I'm gonna tin them up, let them rest. Usually about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or till your baked potato gets done, then we eat. Let's get them out, take a look at them, see how we did. They look good, they smell good. Woo! That little fat dude right there is gonna be the best one. Without any further ado, let's cut in and see how we did. Now it's really hard to cook these to 135 just because how the cut of meat is. But I try to aim for 130 and then in hopes I can catch it because once it starts running, it starts running fast. So let's cut in. In a pinch, it'll do, especially if you got about four or five jacks in you and a uh, nice old fat loaded baked potato. What? Yeah, we'll, we'll try something off another piece. Better cut them thin. Oh. That's way better. That's way better. And that's how you do it, my friends. I remember, man. I remember when I ate these. I was like, oh, one day, man. One day, I'll make it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know that these are the ones you want to, you know, bust out for your friends. Hey, but I feed them to the kids all day long, though. So, And for, what are these, eight bucks? Eight bucks. Yeah, feed them with kids. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you want this recipe, it's down below, or you can head over to CosmosQ.com, print it out, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.